What's up guys? Um, coming back at you with another wrenching video, I guess people want to call it that. Um, yeah, I got some uh, new rims for Snakebite and I'm going to be robbing the tires off of Bigfoot to put them on Snakebite. Um, I got more tires coming for Bigfoot and baby um, son of a digger. So yeah, if you want to Take along with me while I do some wrenching and swapping some tires and wheels around. Cool. So yeah, let's see what we got. And yes, if you guys haven't noticed, Trio is like my favorite brand. Um, I love their beadlock rims. And uh, I really wish, I think it would be kind of cool if they came out with their own line of tire. Um, I think that would be so sweet. But um, for now, I guess we gotta live with what they have, which is some pretty high quality stuff. I love Trio stuff. Um, I got the Trio high clearance links on Bigfoot. Um, I just got these for snake bite. Hopefully they look pretty good on there. I felt like it could use some green. A couple of the snake bite trucks in the, going through the history of Masha trucks, um, he does have some green rims on there. Um, so yeah, we'll slap these on there and there is the tag 22 grammars guys. So they are freaking heavy, but, um, I think I'm pretty sure the weight comes with this ring. So I think the ring I'm actually going to put in these tires temporarily and put these on Bigfoot. Um, I do have more tires coming for Bigfoot, but temporarily I think I'm just going to throw these on there. They're just your Super Swamper boggers from RC Four Wheel Drive. So yeah, let's get these packages open. And again, Trio always sends stickers. I got so many stickers from Power Hobby and, and Trio, it's like crazy. So if you guys want any extra stickers, I don't know if there's a way I can get them to you, but we can definitely figure out a way and I can get you some stickers. <laughs> I have a absolute abundance of trio and and uh, power hobby stickers. It is just insane. But uh, get these packages open. Do do. Need a knife. Don't try this at home, guys. This is why these videos are not rated for kids because I would not want to see a kid with just a raw bear razor blade like this <laughs> but us being grown-ups we can get away with it 22 grams like I thought I don't think the other trio rims I bought like these I don't think they were 22 grammars these are the ones that go on Bigfoot so I don't know what those are but these definitely feel a lot heavier than uh than those red ones and then i got the like spoke star like five arm star trios too oh see that's what i don't like i don't like that they give you all black that's why i have some of these like more chrome looking screws because i i actually don't like putting black on the front i don't know i like putting the the chrome looking ones on the front. So that is what I'm probably going to do. Get these open. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and get these open to kind of keep this video a little short, so bear with me. Okay, we have them open. Get these off. I kind of already did some uh, work in as far as doing these. Um, as you can tell, I took these tires out of the wheels already. But I left the uh, other weighted ring inside the tires. So kind of speed us along already. 
And I'll leave another link to these tires. Um, I bought them as a tire rim combination off of uh, eBay. Um, so I'll leave a, a link to them. And then I'll leave to a link to the uh, trio wheels too. So they don't quite go on too smoothly. Um, you got to persuade them a little bit just because the circle in the tire it's just slightly smaller than what it should be, but um, yeah, I, I think they work pretty good. I had them on Bigfoot for a while and they seem to work pretty well, but yeah. And this is the only tricky part, getting this back ring to line up. There we go. Did I get lucky? I think I did. I think I did. They are like perfectly lined up. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. So now it's just a matter of throwing the screws in, making sure this bead is set good. I mean, you can see it kind of bulges it out a little bit. That's because the rim is actually a little too big for these tires. So yeah, but it worked pretty good when I had them on the red ones. So just gotta make sure it's evenly all the way around. I mean, it does have a pretty good, you can see how small that circle is. So yeah, but it has a pretty good bead on there. So yeah. It seems to help out quite a bit. All right, I'm going to throw these screws in there. I usually start here and then go opposite and then I'll go over here and then go over here and then throw the rest of them in. So I'll do that off camera and be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of being a pain to line these screw holes up with each other. Um, so yeah, I figured out a trick. You guys may have known that already, but uh, I stuck my little driver tip in there to line it up. That worked pretty sweet. So yeah, now we should be able to just run these home. Bam, there's one. That worked out pretty sweet. I'm glad I figured that out because I think I just battled with that stupid thing for like 25 minutes. <laughs> yes, sir, that worked out pretty good. Shazam, sweet. All right, I'm going to zip the rest of the screws in and be right back. Okay, and we're back. Got one more tire to do, guys. I figured I'd do it on camera just because, yeah, this is a wrenching video. And not really showing a whole lot of wrenching. So, yeah. I'm so glad I figured that little driver tip bit thing trick out because oh my gosh that saved so much time getting all those other ones lined up i wish i would have discovered that a long time ago back thread click and run it home Just like that. 
And yeah, so as far as progress on my Father's Day build, um, <laughs> I've been kind of wrenching all day. Sunday is kind of a good day for me to do that. And yeah, that just kind of wet the cot out of the bag as to what I do with my videos. I definitely record them ahead of time. <laughs> During the week, I just do not have the time. Sunday is usually the best day for me to uh, to do all this. So yeah, definitely. And I recently just discovered like you can upload them to. I mean, I'm still a beginner, so a lot of you guys would be like, "Duh!" But I recently discovered you can actually schedule a air date on YouTube when you post a video on that. I didn't really know that until like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so make fun of me all you want. I'm a beginner, so whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so that's generally what I do. Record a bunch of videos on Sunday and then air them periodically. Sometimes I do it on Saturday too with Amanda, my, my wife. She works in the hospital, so she has, like, a weird schedule. There we go. ta -da. Come on, focus. There you go. So now all that's left to do is just to zip in the screws in the front. But anyway, um, yeah, my wife, she, uh, she works in the NICU, uh, intensive care unit. Needle natal intensive. It's I don't know. It's it, they call it the NICU, but it's like intensive care for newborns um, But yeah, so she works Different days throughout the week like every third Saturday she has off so Yeah, I generally uh, will film when she's home and I don't have to worry about watching my little monsters running around the house. There we go. I was looking for these. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that is generally what I do. Zip these in. Yeah, these are going to look so much better than the black. I did the same thing to the red ones that I have on uh, Bigfoot. And it just goes so much better, see? They just, yeah, it looks so much better with those chrome colored. I don't know if they're, they're definitely not chrome, but yeah, this color is screw. Looks so much better with those in there. So yeah, it's Sunday here for me now, but you guys won't see this until probably like Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> but yeah. We actually, uh, we went camping this past week. Um, and we had to cut it kind of short just because the weather was so crappy. Like, the only nice day we had, like, we had rain, like, every day. But, um, it wasn't all day every day, but we had rain every day. And Thursday was actually, it didn't rain until, like, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So, and that's what the forecast called for. So, during breakfast sitting there discussing it and we're like we should take advantage the kids are kind of getting kind of sick we should take advantage and pack up while everything's dry and come home so that's what we did <laughs> and rain aside it just was it was super windy too it was like man it was like a constant like 15 to 20 mile an hour wind so like cooking out on the campfire was difficult because the fire was hard to light and it, it was just miserable. So we decided... I'm going to change that one up. That one's kind of dirty. So we decided to come home early. So I filmed a few videos already. Friday, Saturday. And uh, those have been aired already, I think. I think another one comes out tomorrow morning. But yeah. 
We're big campers. We love going camping. So whenever we get a chance, we definitely do that. And it's like the easiest and cheapest vacation, you know, for a family. I love it. But I'm going to stick that on the side because that one's dirty. So yeah, um, babble aside, 15 minutes into this video already, I am going to put the rest of these in and then be right back. Okay guys, we are back and we have all of the, I think they're basically artificial lug nuts, <laughs> but got them all in there. I definitely like the looks of the chrome colored nuts <laughs> um yeah so now let's throw them on here and see how they look i think they're gonna look absolutely awesome Oops. That they are like the perfect shade of green. So freaking cool. Hopefully you guys like them because I like them. So sweet. I know I've said in my other videos that it's definitely not good. Everybody should know it's not good to over tighten, but I found with these 118 scales from Panda Hobbies, if you just run it home like this, the tires spin after it gets tight enough. So um, before I debut, Oh, well, don't look, don't look. I got a couple other parts I want to put on to give it a little more bling. They're just little hubcaps that come on the Panda Hobbies. Um, one, two, three. There's my fourth one right there. Okay. Yeah, they're just little little hubcaps. Screw them on a second. Oh, freaking cool. The only thing I don't like about these things is I kind of wish, I don't really want an offset rim, but it's kind of hard to do, but a more of a deep dish rim because these hubs stick out a little too far for my liking, but they don't look too bad. They just screw right on the hub, just like that. Okay, you ready for it, guys? Should I throw a battery on it and get those eyes going? Yeah, let me get a battery a second. Pause. Okay, sorry guys, we're back. Are you guys ready? Bam. <laughs> I think that is like the perfect shade of, of green I think it looks good you guys may not think so let me know what you guys think though I think it looks pretty sweet it kind of this shade and that shade are pretty close I think it looks freaking good yeah I think I'm liking that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is kind of, well, not quite a long video. Um, let me ask one more opinion. So you remember a few videos back, a while back, I got some blue rims for baby son of a digger. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about this? 
Is that a yes or a no? I don't know. I still think that color of blue is just too dark. I don't know. But eventually, guys, I'm going to be... If you guys don't like it, I think I'm going to stick these on the boggers. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to save that for another video. But, uh... Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I always appreciate opinions. Uh, I may not always follow them, but uh, I generally do, I guess. <laughs> but um, I definitely am open for suggestions on material, um, what you guys think would be a cool video, whether you guys have like an experiment in mind that you want me to try. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much open to anything. Um, budget does play a, a key part in that. <laughs> um, I have been spending quite a bit of money um, in this hobby, which that goes with the with the territory, I guess. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments on the wheels that I just put on Snake Bite and the possible wheels on Bit on uh, Bigfoot and. Hit the subscribe button and we will see you later.